Hi, this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. And the question today is, what's the difference between a console and a spinet piano? You know, sometimes they look almost exactly the same. So is there a fundamental difference? The answer is yes, surprisingly. You might think that a shorter console is virtually the same as a spinet, because spinets are very short pianos, typically about 36 uh, inches tall, and they're upright to go against the wall, and so are consoles. The fundamental difference is the type of actions. Spinets have what's called an indirect blow action or a drop action, because it's such a small piano that the only way to really fit the action is to have a very short key with a connecting rod that connects to the rest of the action. That's why it's considered an indirect blow, because you don't have a full length key coupling directly with the action. Whereas a console, whether it's short or tall, has the full length key that connects directly to the rest of the action for a superior feel, generally. Now, nobody really makes spinet pianos anymore. I guess they, they lost favorability with less expensive consoles that have better actions overall. Now, that isn't to say that there weren't some higher quality spinets in the past. The Baldwin Acrosonic is a classic example of an above average spinet piano. Of course, at the very short height, even if the action is decent, the sound is pretty disappointing on such a short piano because of the short strings and small soundboard. So generally, consoles are superior to spinets. That's the long and short of it. Thanks for joining me again. Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. I'll see you next time.